Stenzilla, 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 Stenzilla. Where do I begin with that name? Hmm. Age 15, I was sort of, shall we say, lectured and kicked and bullied in school, especially by parents who didn't believe what I did was not a bad thing, but they didn't believe me, who cares? And I contemplated suicide. I went a way out, so of course I got into punk rock, skateboarding, graffiti, and comic making, actually figure making, and so forth. The thing that I'm doing back then is what I'm doing now, or hope to do now. Basically, I needed an ego, as Eminem had for Slim Shady, as I guess we also had for Sasha, and I guess, you know, anyone, or in Susan it was like Peter Parker, Bruce Wayne, they have all two egos to keep themselves alive or keep themselves going. And with Sentinel, on the other hand, he was a graffiti artist, and I wanted to get into graffiti and skateboard at the same time, so yeah. So, the ego came over, but the name came when I was 16. The ego came when I was 15, but the name came when I was 16. And even then, I was like, Godzilla, 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 because somehow it does ring. If you say Stenzilla, Stenzilla, it works. Why well, wouldn't Soz? Soz is just a tag. It's basically the logo of, of my name, but people call it Soz because they can't pronounce my name, idiots. But anyway, I want something that I like Godzilla, I mean Stencil, because at the time, I was obsessed to be like the next Banksy because he would make stencil art that ran quickly to the price, but it wasn't cool. And I got into graffiti at the same time, as well as doing stencil for skateboards and stuff. So yeah, I need, I need a name that represents stencil meets Godzilla. So I put them both together. That name did exist before because it's a stencil name. His name was a stencil font, yeah. So I kicked up the S, put the Z, get one L. While we're leaving two hours, I give the phone at L. And that's how my name came on, Cinderella. From age 15 to 26, I still have not made it, which is so, so disgusting because I'm wondering how the hell did people like Mr. Brainwash or Andy Link from AK-17 make it that I don't? Is it because I'm a shit artist? Is it because I am black? Is it because I'm too young? Or is it because that no one gives a flying fuck what I do? Uh, it's really disgusting, despicable, if you ask me. But what can I say? It's life, as my sister once said. I find it very cheap and un and very simple, but... And this is why I'm hoping to show this documentary will you understand what I'm going through. Let's hope to differ. It does make me the person I want to be. A successful, brilliant artist with many, multiple talents. So that's my story. I hope you like what you're watching to see, or what I just said. hope it made sense to you, and I hope it will make sense to you people, for those who hear this tape, for those who watch the interview. This is the story of the, the, the Zoz, you want to call it. And uh, always stick to what you do best, never give up, never bring in, and most of all, ignore the bastards that bring you down and criticize you up, regardless if it's your friend or family or even a person to hardly know. They are not better, you do. You're the artwork, not them. You're the artist, not them. So yeah, in the words of myself, God is an artist, life is a canvas, love is a brushstroke, you are the artwork, that's it. Good luck to anyone trying to make it, you know what to do. Bring them hell and show them what you're made of.